We are giving away native plants to recognise the great pest plant control work that's been done in Hamilton City over the previous year. The Waikato Regional Council requires landowners to control specific pest plants and it's not always a landowner's fault that a pest plant turns up on their properties but the pest plant still needs to be removed so this is to recognise the good work that landowners are doing and also to increase native biodiversity in the city and hopefully attract more native bird species. Three of the most common pest plants in Hamilton City that landowners are required to control would be woolly nightshade which is a, a shrub or small tree with large woolly leaves and small purple flowers. It's, it's spread by birds. It's a plant that forms dense infestations suppressing out all other species and also releases biochemicals into the soil which helps prevent regeneration of other species. Another one would be moth plant which has a choco like pod which is about this big and it's an invasive vine. When the pods open thousands of seeds are released into the atmosphere um, spreading from property to property into gullies and along riverways suppressing and competing with native species. And the third and a third pest plant that's new to the Regional Pest Management Plan in Hamilton City is Gunnera or giant rhubarb. Gunnera grows in wet areas along streams and riverbanks. It's caused significant issues in other parts of the country, for example the, the Taranaki, the species which is on the increase in Hamilton and one that we we want to reduce as much as possible. It forms, it grows massive leaves and these leaves suppress out all other native vegetation. If a landowner finds a pest plant on their property, they should control that pest plant as soon as possible. Um, if they're not too sure how to control that pest plant, they can look at weedbusters.org or the Waikato Regional Council website for control information. Control just once is not enough, you have to revisit the site before the species is, er is eradicated. And if the plant is not on the landowner's property, they should contact the Waikato Regional Council biosecurity team and we'll take it from there. It's important to re remove pest plants from urban sections because pest plants reduce biodiversity in natural and urban areas. Also, Hamilton City has a network of gullies and the Waikato River running through it and it's very easy for pest plants to spread from urban properties into these natural areas where they're difficult to control and can cause a lot of damage.